last day we got <laughs> <laughs> getting an MJ and that's what we got from what they call peach. Oh my god, that was a live munition. Terrorist people, humans with no humanity are coming to our land. I started journalism at the age of seven after I uh, seen so many things happen to my family. I wanted to show the world how we felt when we saw our parents get arrested in the middle of the night, when we saw our friends get killed in front of us. I faced things that I knew that it was not normal for any child around the world to face. Your first and main source of water which was taken over and occupied by the Israeli occupation and Imagine yourself waking up in the middle of the night on the side of gas canisters. It was amazing knowing that a lot of people actually understand and get more educated through these videos so I continued doing that. Some very simple videos of me speaking in the situation, in the protest, me on the checkpoint trying to go to my school. It was just me documenting our uh, daily lives and the daily events that happen uh, because of this occupation. There are so many Israeli settlers there having fun and after they realized we were Palestinians, they were trying to kick us out. This was extremely racist. Israeli soldiers, when I'm reporting, for example, right next to my house and they would see me reporting, they would start shooting at me, for example. They would try to break my camera, take my camera. And I got so many threatening messages where they go like, this is your house, this is your way to school, this is your car. We can come kill you at any time. I hope a Zionist bullet would come in the middle of your head. I got a lot of these messages. I am a child who wants to play. Why don't you let me? Like, why am I, as a four-year-old, doing all that? Like, why was I not playing soccer in the middle of the street, playing with my dolls, or just doing normal four-year-old activities? I look at the way a normal 12-year-old is living and a Palestinian 12-year-old, and it even gives me a push to continue what I'm doing to stop the Israeli occupation from violating this generation's or the the next generation's childhood the same way that they violated mine. We, we